So there's two main types of cutters that we see. There's a multi-blade uh, chain type, and then there's a single blade score type, and I'll demonstrate the procedure for each of those. I just want to move it back and forth. Just a very small score. I don't want to score all the way around, and then I want to put my thumbs opposite the score mark and snap. With the chain style cutter, we want to get tension on it um, where we've still got a little travel for tightening. Now, you may think, hey, let's go round and round, but really we just want to turn and squeeze at the same time, quickly snapping it. When we reassemble this, we want to go with the nut first, then the retainer, then the friction ring, and then our gasket. Do that on both ends, then we'll insert that into the sight glass holder. Before I tighten these rings down, I want to give that a little twist and just a slight lift, about an eighth inch, so the bottom of the glass isn't physically touching the brass of the bottom stop valve. After I've tightened that hand tight, I want to give it about half a turn on each with the wrench, and then we're ready to put pressure back on it. So if the boiler's cold, our valve order is not as important. But if the boiler's hot, what I want to do is first crack the top valve. And that's going to allow some steam to go in here and preheat down the drain. Then I will crack the water side. And when I close the drain, my water level should come up to normal. If I get any evidence of leakage, I can valve it back off again, snug these a little more. But just remember those are rubber gaskets and they're designed to be tightened a couple times um, as the boiler's heated and cooled, the heated and cooled. So don't just crank them without mercy. Mm -hmm.